Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to a very exciting Harry Potter video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today's video is really exciting. It's a massive Harry Potter haul from Primark, and I'm very excited. We have a lot to get through. So this is going to be in no particular order of like favourites or when I bought it. It's all just been shoved in two bags, so we're just going to dive right in and get started. The first item I'm going to start with is this blackboard, purely because it doesn't fit in any of the bags, so I thought I'd get it out of the way first. Uh, this was £6. It comes on a rope to hang it up. It comes with a couple of pieces of chalk to write on it. So it's got the days of the week, and then the last one is spells. I just thought this was really nice. It's handy because I'm trying to get organised and I don't know about anybody else but I'm way more likely to do something if it's written down in front of me because then I get the satisfaction of ticking it off. So yeah, that's the first item. £6. Super handy. Next item is Christmassy. So it's one of the new Harry Potter baubles. Haven't even taken out the package yet. Maybe I should do that now. Oh, well, that's on the floor. Oh well. So, here it is. So glittery. It's like a little disco ball. It's one of these that's like filled, I don't know if you can see that. It's like filled with glitter on the inside. And it's just got the Hogwarts crest on. And it's all making me feel super festive. I got the ones that were bought out last year. And they've re-released... I think it's the platform nine and three quarters one is very similar to the one I got last year, um, but I don't have one like this, so I was excited to get this one. That was five pound for the bauble, which is a decent price because they are really big. They're not like tiny little baubles, so I'm excited to have these hanging around when it's Christmas time. Next item. Oh, that was the bag of stuff that fell. Okay, let's try not to do that again. So the next item is a fitted sheet for my bed. It's a six pound, but it's scanned at three pound. So didn't have a sticker on, didn't know. I was quite happy to pay full price for it. And she scanned it and it was three pound and who am I to argue? So this is really cool, it's a fitted sheet. I love printed fitted sheets. It's so rare to find them, especially a Harry Potter one. So it's got like stars on and it's got his glasses on and it's just like a super magical fitted sheet. So that's going to go really well when I've got my Harry Potter bedding on. So yeah, that was that's kind of £3, so I was really happy about that. Next we have... Honey Duke's Pyjamas! I wanted these for ages. They've, these have been out a while in Primark now. And when I was there last week, I noticed them on the sale rail. Who doesn't love a sale rail? So these were reduced from £6 to £3 for the top. So there's the top. Oh my god, it's such a nice design. You can even get away with wearing this as a t-shirt. It's not just a pyjama top. Like, It's got really nice chocolate frog print. Love it. It seems a waste to wear it in bed. Like I want to wear it out so everyone can see it. The matching bottoms. There we go. Got the Honey Duke's bottoms. They've got the chocolate frog on. We've got a sugar quill. And it's just got the Honey Duke's logo. It's the, like the leggings type pyjamas where they're cuffed at the bottom. They're so comfortable. Um, and this one was reduced to £3 as well from 8 So it was £6 instead of 14 for the set of pyjamas. So didn't even intend on going out to get these. So I just love an accidental bargain. Especially when it's a Harry Potter accidental bargain. So that's the pyjamas. These socks. Oh my god. They are so soft. I cannot wait to wear them. They've got Gryffindor written on the bottom. I don't know whether you can see that. But in that like rubbery stuff. So it's gripping when you touch the floor. They're like slouch socks. And they've got the crest on. They had these in Hufflepuff as well. But obviously I'm only, I'm, I can't keep buying stuff in every house. That's ridiculous. So I just got my house Gryffindor. And I'm really excited to wear these. These were £3. And now that it's getting really cold. We need fluffy socks. We need the thick socks. Because it's freezing. The bag of dreams. Let's just appreciate the bag of dreams. Does anybody else love this bag as much as I do? Oh, I can't get over it. 
It's got like a little platform nine and three quarters tag on it. It's like a little mini trunk. It does have a long handle inside as well. So you can carry it like a normal handbag or you can just carry it with a little handle at the top. Oh, I love this bag. This was £10. £10. Seriously. It's amazing. I love it. And you know what? It's actually pretty deep because it's quite deep. It's quite a decent size. You can fit a fair bit in there. Like it's not, it's not tiny. I've got much smaller bags. I just look at it. I just sit it on my shelf and I just look at it because it's just so beautiful. I love it. Literally the bag of dreams. <sighs> Moving on. Here we have a very plain Hogwarts mug. It's very basic. Uh, ironically, I was actually out looking for a Harry Potter mug that I can drink out of. I don't drink out of my Harry Potter mugs normally. I keep them all because if you drink them, drink them. If you drink out of them, you're gonna have to wash them and then they've got more chance of being broken. So when I buy my Harry Potter mugs, they go on a shelf for display purposes only. But I kind of wanted one to drink out of as well. So I needed a cheap one. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on one. I needed a very basic one. And when I was in Primark last week, these were on sale for one pound. So they're originally three pound down to one pound and I thought that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm not too bothered about the fact that I can't display this because it is a very basic design. It was only cheap, but it was exactly what I was looking for just for one to use, drink my tea out of and my hot chocolate. <gasps> We've finished one bag. We're on to the next one, halfway through guys. These lights, oh, that's bad reflection. You can't really see that. It's, it's not very good. Okay, so these are the potion bottles LED lights. I wasn't going to buy them, but they were reduced to £5 from £8. So I have no idea where I'm going to hang them yet, but I'm sure I can find somewhere. I'm very chuffed with that. Even more lights, we have the Honey Dukes ones. Now this was pretty crazy because I went into my local Primark and they had a basket full of these reduced to £2 down from £8. It's insane. It's just £2. Two British pounds for 10 Honeydukes lights. Oh my god. It's just amazing. Two pound. What it? Two pound? What even is that? Two pound? So again, I've got to find somewhere else to put these now as well. My room is definitely not big enough for all this Harry Potter stuff. Another fairly new item, which has only come out very recently, is this beauty. This is the new Hedwig Snow Globe. Now this was £8 I think and I saw this the first time and I was like nope I'm not going to buy it, it's beautiful but I'm going to wait till I got paid because I just shouldn't. I'm supposed, I'm trying to be a sensible adult, you know, it's as difficult as that is, it's, you know, I'm trying to be, you know, responsible. And I was like no, I'm not going to have it, so I turned it away, I went back the next week and they were gone. I was like, oh, missed my opportunity now, they've sold out, that's it. And then I went back the next day and they had them in stock again. And I was like, this is fate. I have to buy it now. So here she is, living her best life in my bedroom. It's a really pretty snow globe. It's the snow and stars and it's, oh, it's really heavy. Like it's a good quality snow globe. It's not like cheap plastic. This is good quality stuff. And she's just really cute. Amazing. So I tried to say no, but the fates were against me. Next we have the new Harry Potter jumper. This is a knitted jumper, so it's very soft and fluffy. It's got Harry, it's got Hedwig, it's got the logo, we've got Ron and Hermione, we've got Dobby, we have the Gryffindor tie, we have his scar and we have Hagrid. I mean, it's a bit unfair on the people that aren't in Gryffindor because this was the only one. I guess it's the Gryffindor tie because of Harry, Ron and Hermione, but even still, it's really soft, really nice. I just, I love the design of it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God. So I've bought it in a size up because I like my jumpers to bury me. I love them to be big and baggy and comfortable. So I'm very excited to wear this because it just feels so soft and it's just cute. This was 14, I think. Yeah, 14 pound for this one because it, the knitted sweaters are more expensive than like just the normal sweaters. 14 pound for that. I mean, sometimes Primark jumpers have a habit of getting a bit bobbly and a bit bitty. 
so I should probably learn my lesson, but where else can you get a Harry Potter jumper that looks like this for £14? You can't. You can't. £3, my next item. Gryffindor hair clip. You're probably thinking, why is she buying a hair clip? There's not a lot going on here. Not a lot at all. But I do have a habit of growing my hair out and then chopping it all off again. So this will grow out a fair bit before I have it cut again. Um, so I'm hoping I'll be able to grow it to a length where I can just like stick this in. Can we, can we get it in? I mean, it's not great at the moment. <laughs> But when my hair's a bit longer, it grows really quickly, my hair does. Um, so it won't be long before I can put this in. But I was like, for £3, it's really cute. And it would be great for cosplayers as well. I've got my Gryffindor cloak. That was from Primark as well, but that was ages ago. Um, so I've got a Gryffindor cloak. And it would just I think it would just look really cute when I've got, when I've got a bit more hair. Yeah, it, just, it looks a bit silly right now, but yeah. So these were in all the other house colours as well. And I just think it's nice, so. Be nice when my hair's long enough to actually wear it. Sticking with the hair theme, we have the Snitch headband. This is three pound as well. This is something I can actually get away with wearing now. I mean, it's not, you know, ignoring this business going on here. But that is really cute. Look at it. I can work it. But yeah, no, I really like that. It's really pretty. So I'm really glad I got that because that is something I can wear now. You don't need long hair to wear that. So £3 again, you know. It's just, it's just, it's just so cheap. It's so cheap. But it's amazing. So I'm very, very happy with that. The detail on it is actually really good. It's not going to focus. Focus. There we go. I really like the detail on it. And it will go with everything. It's just the sort of colours that you can just wear with whatever. So just a little something something now. This little guy, this little mandrake. Oh, go on, there you go. That was three pound down to one pound. I didn't, I didn't want to leave him behind. I felt bad for him because he was all cute and, you know, there's obviously a lot of them left if they're reducing them to a pound. And I just thought he was nice. I don't need a keyring. I have so many Harry Potter keyrings already. I have a keyring problem. But when it's only a pound, this is my problem. This is why I end up spending so much in Primark because I'm not putting stuff in my basket. I'm like, oh, it's only a pound. It's only three pound. Oh, look at that. It's only 50p. Next thing you know, it adds up. It's a problem. So just be careful. Primark is a dangerous place to go. So this little guy, one pound. Just because. Why not? Another bargain. We have the beautiful love potion. Candle. Oh, there we go. This is a big candle. It's moonstone, rose thorn, and peppermint. It is a very strong smell. This is a really strong one. It's very florally and it just smells pink. If pink had a smell, this is it. It's a rather large candle and uh, this was supposed to be six pound, but it was reduced to three. I like to have candles burning now that it's like autumn weather in my room anyway. Makes it smell nice. I share a room with a dog. I need these candles to make my room smell nice, otherwise my room just smells permanently like my dog. And it just looks really nice. And what I like about the Primark candles as well is that once they're burnt out, I mean, a lot of people don't burn them, they just like to keep them. I like to burn them. Once I've burnt it, I can still keep the jar. I can clean out the wax and keep the jar just because it looks nice. I'm not going to throw it away. That would just look really nice on my, uh, somewhere on here. I am currently in the process of there's a whole area over there that's going to be changed into um, Harry Potter, which I'm decorating at the moment. I'm painting the shelves and everything. Once that's done, I can show you all my Harry Potter collection in another video in the future. I like to burn them, clean out the wax, and keep them. Just, you know, you can just put stuff in it if you really want to. Or you could just like, fill it with like pink sand or, you know, whatever tickles your fancy. We have come to the last item. Another candle. Probably could have ended it on something better, but you know, hey ho. Well, these were the new house candles that came out not too long ago. They had all the houses in this one in quite a few stores, so I don't think anyone's had trouble getting hold of their house, which is nice. My issue, this was this was two pound, which I thought was a really good, and it's a really nice, it's got like the HP on the top on a gold lid, it's got like the red and yellow. I have already started burning it, that's why it looks a bit naff inside. Um, my only issue is it doesn't tell you what the scent is because it smells amazing. It's got vanilla in it, that's for sure. It's definitely got vanilla in because vanilla is like my favourite candle scent. 
but it's got something else in as well and I can't figure out what it is but it doesn't tell you so I have no idea I mean personally I'm probably biased because it's Gryffindor but I did smell all the others and I wasn't overly keen on the other colours um the other house colours ones but I like this one a lot it just says courage determination and bravery they're not really smells you can't smell like courage if it does then courage smells delicious and it says it burns up to 16 hours which quite a long time for a little candle that only cost two pound again i was tempted to get all the houses but that's just naughty so i got my house he will go up on my shelf we'll put him on there there we go so that's it that is all of this rather large haul i need to stop I keep telling myself I need to stop and I'm not going to buy any more things and then probably I'll just go and bring out a shed load more of new merch and now the Christmas stuff is coming out. There's the little Christmas decorations where you get, there's a little, there's one pack that has Hedwig and Harry in and another one that has Hagrid and the Hogwarts Express and I think they're like £4 each and I really want them but I'm trying to be sensible and say no. I have no willpower, it's terrible. As much as I love all of the Harry Potter merch, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't really afford it. I can't justify spending that much on something. But when it's all this cheap, look at how much merch you can get for such a small amount of money. Why are you doing this to me, Primark? That is it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed watching this haul. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more Harry Potter videos. I'd super appreciate it if you did press the subscribe button. There's going to be a load more videos coming up. Harry Potter themed mostly, so don't miss out. Bye guys.